Good evening. Namaste. How is everyone out here today? This is Destiny. Guys, how are you doing? It's been a beautiful and wonderful day. Yesterday, I did another part of the topic that I've been talking on this, this, this entire week. Everything that you need is within you. And I told you guys yesterday that I was going to hang my hat right here. I'm going to stay right here till I feel that the creator of the universe, God, has done everything that he needed to do to get these messes downloaded into me so I can upload them to my audience, to the people out there. And I told you yesterday, I feel that this topic is a urgency. It's an urgency of the creator. So I told you also yesterday that I was going to create a playlist on my YouTube channel, on my page, you know, guys, I did. So let's jump into it. It's another topic. Another topic, because everything that you need, you have to know that it's within you. And I'm just going to keep speaking it. I'm going to keep talking on it. I'm going to keep putting it out there. I'm just going to do whatever it's needed to be done until I know that the creator say, okay, Destiny, that's enough. And right now, He's not saying stop. He's saying to me, keep going. Keep giving it out. Keep sharing. Keep speaking this message. Keep telling them about the truth. So let's get started. The day's topic is going to be titled, Did you know you have a gift of knowledge within you? I'm going to jump right into this. That's the title. Did you know you have a gift of knowledge within you? Now let's talk about the power of knowledge. Now the power of knowledge, it reveals the reality of knowledge. Because the deeper spiritual mind within, you which holds the key to finding your greater purpose and your direction in life. And I think I may need to repeat that. Let's do it again. The power of knowledge, it reveals the reality of knowledge. The deeper spiritual mind within you, which holds the key to finding your greater purpose and your direction in life. Revelations, guys, are given to present the reality of your spiritual nature. And the crisis of living apart from your deeper nature and how you can escape this crisis and begin the journey of healing. The division, guys, between your thinking, your thinking mind and the mind of your knowledge within you. With this, guys, then it comes the possibility of falling knowledge in the now and also in the future, which is leading you to a new life to new relationships, and the fulfillment of your purpose for being in this world. And you have the opportunity to understand where knowledge lives in your experience and to build a lasting connection to this deeper experience that has always been with you. Because the journey of finding and following the knowledge, it will bring you back to your original purpose for being in the world. The memory of those who sent you here and the greater contribution you are meant to provide to a world facing great and difficult change in the future. So, here a sacred process begins that has the power to free you from your past. And guess what? It's going to prepare you for a new you, for a new life, and for a greater life in your future. People everywhere, guys, are carrying a greater power within themselves, and most don't even know it. They don't even recognize it. They never heard about anything about the power. Everything that we need is within us. They never heard of such things. A lot of people never heard of that. But people everywhere are carrying a greater power within themselves, a power that they have not yet discovered. And it is a deeper intelligence that the creator of all life has given to each person. 
and this deeper intelligence, it does not function like your intellect. It is not conditional by the world. It is not subject to doubt and fear and to all that confusion, that resentment, or even that anger. Guys, it's so peaceful. It's so quiet. It's stillness. It's so clear and precise. It is so powerful. And it cannot be persuaded by any other force or power for it only answers to the creator of the universe, God. And this greater intelligence is called knowledge. And it lives within you, it lives within me, in each one of us, God's knowledge lives within us. It lives beneath the surface of your mind. And every day, knowledge is giving you counsel. Knowledge is there to protect you. It's there to guide you. And it's there to lead you. But if you are living at the surface of your mind and you caught up in the turbulence of the surface, like the greater presence within yourself, then you're not going to even recognize where knowledge stands up to reveal itself. You understand what I'm saying? Guys, you get that? I'll say that again, so I want y'all to get it. If you are living at the surface of your mind, caught up in the turbulence of the surface, like the turbulence at the surface of the ocean, you will not hear these messages. You will not feel this greater presence within yourself. You will not even recognize knowledge warnings. You will not recognize knowledge direction or is anything. You will not even recognize it because you don't even know the great power that was in you, the knowledge that he has placed within you. People try to keep themselves constantly stimulated with all kinds of things, all kinds of things that distract them, that keep them always looking outside of themselves. So they keep themselves constantly stimulated with the radios, with cell phones, with television and books and endless conversations, keeping themselves at the surface of their mind where they cannot even feel the presence of knowledge. They cannot even feel the power of knowledge, where they cannot even hear or respond to the guidance that knowledge is providing from them. That's why they come up so empty handed and short all the time. That's why we constantly trying to keep seeking and digging for the information and knowledge because we don't shut ourselves off and we're not listening to the voice that's within us. Perhaps once in a while, these people may feel a deeper inclination and then they will recognize a sign or have a profound feeling about something. But these experiences, people are often intermittent and they are often misinterpreted. And even people who feel that they are intuitive by nature, they often misinterpret the signs that they are receiving, trying to have everything fit in with what they want to fulfill their desires and to fulfill their goals, or even to support a philosophy that they have about their own life. It may be false and off, you know, it's, it's, it's off course, but that's what they do. So... While these many people do respond to the power and the presence of knowledge, often they what? They misinterpret it. They misinterpret the signs, thinking that it is something else. And some people think about that every sign from within themselves must be about love. And when in fact, knowledge, guys, that's what's inside of you. And it's warning you about things. And we're not paying attention. It is alerting you to the presence of danger. And we are not paying attention. It is trying to restrain you from making critical mistakes. And guys, we are not paying attention. Or it's helping us to Free ourselves away from all these false programmings. 
or is helping us get away from giving our lives away to people or things that have no real value or future that is connected to ours. But guys, guess what? This is love also. The guidance of love, the restraint of love, the warnings from love. Yet if you think love is all about happiness, guys, and you think that love is all about peace and pleasantness, then you do not understand the real power and the potency of love. No, you do not understand it. The love that a parent has for their child, the concern a parent will have for their child, and the parent's attempt to protect their child from harm, any kind of danger, or any damaging influences, it represents the kind of love, guys, that is within you. So how can you experience this knowledge? Which holds you from your greater purpose, from coming, for coming into this world. How? How can you experience this knowledge which holds you for your greater purpose for coming to this world, people, and can teach you to navigate the difficult times in your life, the difficult times that are ahead of you under any kind of circumstances. So how can you experience this for yourself? You must first learn to be still. I'm telling you people, you got to find that place of alone, that place where you can quiet your mind, your whole body has to become limp. And a good place to do that, like I told you before, doing yoga, doing um, meditation, getting yourself to that place where there's no one around you and find that place and you become still. And you must learn to listen deep within yourself, not just for moments here or not even for moments there, but on a more regular basis as a part of your spiritual practice. And when you come to pray, and a lot of times when people are praying, because that's why I'm saying prayer is, yes, I believe in prayer, but prayer, we get emotional, we get all loud and all out of control, and, and we are shedding off those still small voice of the creative God because we're constantly begging and pleading and crying when we're praying but quietness and meditation it brings us to a stillness and we were still connected with the divine creator of the universe he still hears our silence our cries our prayers that are silent so guys you gotta listen you have to practice. You have to do spiritual practice. Like I said, even when you come to prayer, do not simply ask for things. But learn, God, to listen. Because the creator God has already placed the answer within you. But it is deep within you. It is so deep within you that you must go beneath the surface of your mind to experience it. And as I said before, like the ocean, the surface is turbulent. And it's erratic. Always changing, but deep down inside, deep within the ocean, there are strong currents that are more moving the waters of the world that you cannot even see. Your mind is like that, people. You got to really, your mind is just like that. And at the surface, it is swept up by the dangers and concerns of our, our life. It is persuaded and is influenced, and also it is impacted by the world that is around you by the opinions of other people, by the requirements of your life, by your desires, and also by your fears. But deep down there is a deeper current of life, guys. That is not subject to these outer influences. It is strong, guys. It is powerful. It is permanent, guys. It has a true direction. It is moving your life. That is the power of knowledge that is within you. That's the power of knowledge to know everything that is in you. And guys, as you learn to take the steps to knowledge, then you will learn to feel the presence of this greater intelligence, the infinite intelligence, the power of the creator of God, the power of the God of this universe. And over time, you will learn to correctly discern his signs 
and to discern its messages and to accept its presence and its power that is in your life, that power that is within you. And this is how the creator God will speak to you. And we always sit around and listen, talking about we trying to hear the creator God, but we doing more talking than we allow him to talk and reveal himself and the answers to us. Because we always begging, we always screaming, moaning and groaning, and we always loud and we shutting out the voices of the creator God. He speaks to us with a still, small voice. And that's why we have to become still and silent. This is how the creator God, he will influence you to protect you. And to guide you towards leading and experiencing a greater life in this world. A life in service to the world. A life that is connected to the real world that is around you. And this, guys, is the greatest discovery in your life. And guess what? It is waiting on you. It is waiting on you to be still. To be tuned in to the divine creator God. To be totally connected as one with the universe and God. It's waiting on you. Already, guys, you have experienced the power and the presence of knowledge at moments in your life. When you felt this overwhelming desire to take a certain kind of action. Or even a concern about an event before it even happened. Or even a concern about a loved one. You have already experienced that power and that presence of knowledge at some point of your life. But you guess what happened? Only to find that the concern was well justified. Guys, there is a power that is within you that is so wise. It's super amazing. It knows everything. And guys, it is moving you forward in some ways and it's holding you back in others. It represents your deeper conscience, guys. The conscience that God has placed within you. And you may ask the, the creator of God this universe for miracles. And a lot of us send me a miracle, I need a miracle, I need a miracle. We constantly, we represent and we always asking for things. So you may have asked, and I know you probably have, because most of us have, we have asked God for miracles. You may have asked the creator of God to intervene in your life. Step in and change some things and do this and do that and do that. We're always pleading and begging. Change this. Take this out of my life. Move this away from me. But guys, the creator of God has put the answer that you're constantly seeking daily, all throughout the day, over and over again in your life, he has placed it within you. You have the answer to everything within you. You have the knowledge. You have the power. He's giving you the wisdom. He has given you everything. All he's asking you to do now is get the understanding of it. But he's already placed everything you need within you. The answer is already in you. The power and the presence of knowledge it's already in you. The deeper eternal mind, guys, guess what? It's already within you. It alone knows who you are and why you are here, who you must meet in this life, and what you must hear ultimately, guys, to contribute in service to humanity and to the world. And you carry the great endowment within yourself. You don't know how powerful you are. You don't know how wise and how intelligent you are. You have everything within you. And you keep going outside looking for answers through everything in this world, through people, through books, through, through seminars, through conventions, through revivals, through prayer meetings, and all this stuff. Look within you. Guys, it is waiting. All the information and knowledge to everything that you are seeking is waiting to be discovered, but you gotta go deep within yourself. It is waiting for you to take the steps to knowledge, guys, and to build the wisdom that you will need to have to carry this knowledge out into the world, to protect this knowledge, guys, and to discern its guidance and to experience its gifts 
Wow, we got a super amazing gift within us. That's the power of knowledge. That's a gift from your creator, God of this universe. Guys, this is the blessing that the creator of all life has given to you. He has given this to me. He has given this gift to each and every person that he had created. And the extent to which knowledge can be experienced and the extent, the extent to which knowledge can be expressed in this world, guys, the world will be blessed beyond measure. Great disasters, guys, it will be prevented. People will know how to manage and maneuver and control every circumstance within their life because they have the power of knowledge and that wisdom within them that they are being led by the divine creator God himself. And guys, humanity will continue to move in a positive direction. We are no longer will be pulled away into negative path, into negative environment and all those negative things. And we will not be befooled by our ego. All humanity will continue to move in a positive direction, no longer being controlled by your ego and all the negativity of this world. But guys, listen, up, and I'm concluding. This is the antidote to evil. This is the blessing for the world, people. A blessing that lives within you. So the next time you're out looking for wisdom, you're out looking for power, or you're looking for answers and solutions to all those things that that's going on inside of you, and you're like, I don't know this, I don't understand this, I don't know how to get the, the results to this. You better go deep inside yourself, and I'm out of here, I'm done. Did you know you have a gift of knowledge within you? Guys, look no further outside, go deep within. And I will place this video also in my creative playlist that I did yesterday for the, the knowledge it's within you. You'll see it. You'll know where to go. I'm out of here. And guys, I'm going to see you guys at the next video. I'm done. Watch Destiny's Forever videos. That's all I got to say. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Namaste.